Yo, what's up, everybody? Hope everyone's having a fine day. Last time we talked about the different systems coming up, and we'll be able to put different options as we go. But it was for either a blue belt or the green belt system. And so far, it is actually a draw. So we're going to try and go with neither system for now. And then hopefully, if you guys respond in the comments of this one, we will finally get one that's just slightly in the lead. It's actually two for two at the moment. But hopefully, we can do this with, again, just low 50s, hook shots, and our, our usual dribble methods, and supporting our teammate. That's hopefully going to be enough to just get open nets and just be able to push it in. Because as we spoke about before, the ideal is to outplay the players, get it around the players, and then just finish off the open net. Anyway, right, let's get into this gold free div freak. Shall we get to platinum today? Can we get to platinum today? Oh, God, good question. I don't know. I really don't know. What sort of teammates are we going to get? Are we going to get ones that love to rotate? Are we going to get ones that love to chase? We're probably going to get defensive players. We don't know until we get in there. And that's the beauty of this. Okay, we are with the Creeper. We're against the Big Vince and Rats. Why do we keep getting this map? Is what I like to know. I just don't understand. Oh, do we get the boost pads in this? Yeah, we'll step it a bit. We'll grab the boost pads. Oh, there's a lot of confusion going. Oh, okay. We love a little bit of confusion. Oh, just beat me to it. Yeah, I don't understand why we keep getting this map. It seems like last episode we had this map twice. Someone out there must have this map on like. They must have it liked to confuse, you know, to annoy people. It's not so bad now because they got rid of that being really, like, advanced, you know. Oh, what a shot from the teammate. Really nicely done. Oh, he's backpedaling. He's in a bad spot. There's this first. Oh, my God. This this guy is pretty fast. This Rads. They've shut me down twice. Am I grabbing? I can't. I don't even know if I'm grabbing these boosts. All right. We'll start dodging. We're, yeah, we'll, we'll go a little bit faster. We'll grab some boosts. As we don't have a system in place yet. Looks like he's going to challenge from the middle. There we go. We get around that person. Teammate. Ah! What? That was interesting. I thought teammate might have gone to the demo on the man that was uh, on their own there. Or, or just left me to it. You know? Just leave me to take the shot. They've gone to the other corner. This is a real confusing game. At the moment. We're just trying to block stuff. The teammate's waiting back. Gonna grab these pads. Gonna grab the mids. So uh, the cool thing about being able to grab these pads now, these big boosts, is that they want them. You see? See how they back up? There we go. Nice. So I don't want to shoot because obviously by shooting, I nice shot by them. I'm sort of going into the system. Them, the blue belt system. It's gonna be really hard to get a breakaway. Oh, I'm gonna have to save that. Oh, <laughs> close one. This is the most tricky game, oh my god, that we've played as a breakaway. I'm just going to tap it with a single jump. This seems like a lower level than when we played before. Let's just pop it towards the net. Pop it back towards there. There's a little air roll there. You're having a lot of difficulty. Teammate, fair play, they rotated back post there. So I'm going to just cut in on the front. Look for a demo. Just open it up. See what my teammate does. Yeah, this is uh, this is interesting. This one is it's hard to get any sort of grasp on this. Might be the time we're playing. You know, this is a Monday that we decided to play this. Get a demo. I think I might have opened it up though. That's my bad. Oh, he's missed. Oh no. My teammate can take it. So, you know, a lot of people at school. So, I guess uh, maybe these people don't play as often. Finally, we get an opening. I'm going to single jump. GG. Nicely done. Great pass. This is the uh, this is a very messed up game right now. It, it, this is all over the place. There's not much flow or rhythm. So, what I'm trying to do when, when it happens like this. Because you're going to get times like this. Trying to stay topped up on the boost. Trying to get it right. You know, I've dove in a few times. It have been costly. There it is again. I'm diving in. I'm just getting beat out by Rads here. Let me just look at this again. I mean, I should be dodging it. It's, yeah, really nice pass to be fair. They're right close to each other. I think I'm going to add in some dodges now. And then actually stick to it. So we'll grab some more pads. Uh, I'm going to use the dodges and, and jumps like that to get around players. But I'm not going to use it to finish. Right, double jump there. Put it in the middle for the teammate. 
Ooh, a lag ball there. That's a bit unfortunate. We'll grab this boost. We'll grab this boost on the way back. Similar to when we played once. And there, now I'm going to flip into the 50 there to give me better rods. You see how I'm just powering through now with the flips? Lay it off. Teammate's not there. I'm just going to cut the rotation here because the teammate seems to be playing quite far back. There they go. Can't shoot on nets. This is a tricky one. Just roll it around. Give him a bump, teammate. He's a little bit back again. I don't blame them, though. They're, they're just being... They're playing it safe. And this Rads player is doing a real good job of moving the ball. i got to say. Put the ball down. Oh. Ah, it's an own goal. Tricky. It was a good shot from him. Our teammate, I, I really expected the challenge there. And there was a difficult angle to say. I didn't want to use too many crazy mechanics there with leaning back and stuff. We've got one minute to win this. Well, we're going to have to put it on a bit. Single jump. We'll just go for the single jump there. Little tap in field. If that was the blue belt system, we would uh, we would shoot that right there. But because it's not, we'll, we'll have to single jump. So it's actually, it's a hook shot basically. But just adding that jump in, if the ball's bouncing higher, if I would have hooked that, that would have gone over the net. So by doing a single jump, I can get on the right part of the hitbox. We're going to take this boost as they come over. I've been bumped. Hopefully, teammate. Oh, I'm going to take that. Move it around. Nice challenge again. That's going to be a difficult one for the teammate to save. He's done a good job there putting him off. Yeah, this is a good player. This rad player, very good. Oh. Let's grab these pads. Stay topped up. Single jump into the corner. There we go. Another goal there. Good pass from the teammate. Good pressure from the teammate. And rads, they're playing very fast. So they put it across the face and then so we could just finish it off. Oh, 18 seconds. Come on, let's hold on now. Got to come across there. So the reason I came across and jumped there, because if they got it on net, it would have been in. So coming across and jumping like that actually blocks the possibility. Can't go for that. Captain Hookshot. It's a baby hook. Go on. In the last second, Captain Hookshot. I love it, man. A little baby hook. And there again, you could have done a single jump in this one. So you could have just single jumped there. But because it was slower, I, uh, I didn't need to. <laughs> Rad's not happy, <laughs> not happy about that one. But that was, to be fair, that was the probably the the weirdest game we've played so far this series. It didn't. There was there was no flow to the game. It was really all over the place. And a lot of the reason for that was that those two in the blue team were backing each other up a lot. They were really really close to each other, so the ball was just very hard to read. And then we went back in each other up enough. Uh, Creeper Zipolski. Sometimes they were going and sometimes they were, were back. And sometimes they would just randomly hit you. So it's difficult there. But we got it. A lot of it comes from good position. Like mid middle positioning. We'll take our time with this. Here he comes. There's the low 50. You know what? Oh, teammates flying in. Yeah, nice. But a lot of it did come from you know, staying middle. And just having a good touch like on the ground so you can get those shots on target when you need to without needing to flip. A lot of that just comes from positioning. I'm gone, I've gone back to, to no dribbling. I feel a little bit more comfortable in this one. Uh, sorry, no flipping. This one's a little bit more comfortable. It's, it's a little bit easier to read there with this teammate fake agent they're doing a good job because they're going and they're making a bit of pressure and then they're leaving me to it they're leaving us to it so then we get the ball and it's just easy to pull it in we'll go for this as well okay nice and they're going for the mid so we'll just grab two pads and we'll just put it onto the backboard there uh, that was a great save by Zeke Law We're just jumping there to get... So we want to protect the net. So I'm jumping in situations. I'm, I'm trying to get to the height of where they can shoot. 
All right, wait for the teammate. I'm just going to pop that up as high as I can. If I didn't and they dunked me there, it would have gone in. Wait for the teammate to go to the front post here. So we'll just we'll take this. On the bounce. Nice. Captain Hook shot with the hook. So the reason I took the ball there is, to be fair, I probably shouldn't have. But the teammate looked hesitant because I was rotating as a second man to the back post. And they stayed on the back post. So because of that, I figured they weren't going to challenge. So I thought I'll push out a little bit and take the possession here. Oh, dear. Oh, unlucky. Nice shot by Ziklo. Really nicely done. So in these situations here, yeah, you have to challenge. You need someone on the ball there so that they can't play it across the net. So if you're the first man in this situation, like here, and they're coming across the net, instead of staying inside, what you want to do is get here. Get here and put a challenge on the backboard if you can. That'll help you a lot. Oh, what a bounce. Oh, no. Oh, my God. My bad. Let's give him a sorry. Good demo from Ziklo on the way. Ziklo's playing really, really well. This is good. We get a bit of an open. It's come across to this weak side. Do you see it's a weak side because no one's on it apart from me? And we're going to play it around Ziklo. Little chip. Good follow-up. Single jump. Putting it on target. Nice. Those single jump shots are great. Until we get ourselves a system, these are great. You come in, you just jump. A little bit of boost. I actually use single jump shots a lot, in all honesty. Even when I'm, I'm playing like full-on tryhard, I will use them because they're, they're easy to aim. You just sort of get the positioning, you boost into it. And because you don't flip, now look at my displacement. If I jump and tap it, okay, I've traveled very little. But if I jump and flip, see how much I travel? So if I do something wrong, oops, sorry, it's, it's going to cost me. I feel pretty confident here. Good single play there by uh, Ziklo. My bad. But it's important to show people sort of the difference between things. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Great 50. Yeah, really good stuff. I think Ziklo got higher on the hitbox here. A fake agent jabbed into it. Yeah. So a little tip there on your kickoffs. Always, always get some sort of jump when you're hitting the ball. So here, I have to jump. We lost it again. <laughs> but if you jump... Oh, this is not good. Could you imagine because of me messing around over here, we end up losing? But yeah, if if you get too low on the hitbox, you end up chipping the ball. And then the player who jumps, they're just going to push it through you. All right, here we go. But do the classic kickoff. All right, this is good. Grab some pads on the way back. Don't need to go too far. All right, teammates not going there. So I'm going to go. Even though I can't jump or anything, I'm going to try and put some pressure on. And trying to kill the ball. Oh, there's a bump. Sham, I couldn't get around him. Grabbing pads. I'll grab the mid now. Oh. Just trying to get a shot off there. We'll just pop that. The teammate was sticking around, trying to keep the pressure on. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Oh, that's a great play. Yes, teammate. Nicely done. Great demo and the hook shot is on. We love to see the hook shot. As soon as I saw that demo, we go straight to that side that the demo was just done. And we're going to put it team the opponents on the on the right. So we're going to hit the left. Going to snipe out that left corner. And grab these pads. Nice kickoff. That's much better. They've jumped into it. You see they're looking really good. Just going to grab these pads here. I'm gonna have to pop it. Good beat from the uh, the opponent there by putting the pressure on. We'll take we'll take this. We'll grab that, and we're just gonna put it up like that as they come in. You see, I knew they were coming in, so I'm gonna put it in the air. Oh, heavy touch! Woo! All right, we're gonna just take a little detour, get a demo. Oh, there's an opening now. What side is the opponent gonna spawn on? They spawn on the ball, so we have to back off there. But this is coming to us, so we can take our time here. And then we're going to play it to the to the left. Oh, good speed. Probably should have dodged, really. Could have dodged there. Should have dodged there. But I'm a little bit all over the place in, in what I'm actually uh, using. Oh, I'm... Oh, okay. 
I was in front of the teammate that my bad sorry so they followed me uh, and what happened so you never want to follow your teammate if they're in front of you with the ball you just want to wait into a position where you can back them up and that was that was dangerous so we can we can wait here take it round balls bouncing there's the old slice hook oh man the hook shots I tell you what even now, what are we, gold free, platinum? These hook shots are absolutely causing people nightmares. And you'll see, like, they're, they're not the world's fastest hook shots because we're not able to get the lateral dribble and the setup in twos. It's a little bit harder. That teammate's going to take that. Hopefully, they jump nice. Ball's bouncing into the middle. Can they get the shot off? Teammate, good aggression right now. They're staying aggressive. They're not allowing them to get a shot. I'm going to take this back towards the corner. So this is a strategy you can use, and then I'm going to take it over the top. So I'm, I'm drawing them in. I'll flip away. Grab these pads. Go towards the back post, because my teammates at the front post and challenging. Oh, good save. Let's go. Well played, teammate. Nicely done. GG. All right. Like I, say, I feel that the games today are a lot harder, and they're harder in a really weird way. What I'm going to describe to you. Oh, nicely done. We got platinum. They're harder, not because I feel that the skill level's higher, in, in all honesty. Looking at this from, you know, I've, I've not really played at this level uh, ever, but basically what I'm seeing here is much more chaos than we actually saw in the earlier ranks. The challenges are very random. You, sometimes the first man's challenging and sometimes they're ignoring their challenge. And that's really hard to deal with because you don't have any idea to go. Like if someone's teammates are following better, because we need pressure on the ball. We can't just leave them to make their offense. So we need something on the ball. So then as a second man, if you go and then they start going, then you've got a double commit. And it's already too late by that time, really, because your idea, if you're coming to the ball late, you're most likely going to get outplayed. And the idea is you're going to get outplayed for the greater good of the team. So you get outplayed and your teammate gets the ball. That's how it works. But if you both go because one hesitated, then what happens is the, the outplay you've just forced, which could be a chip over the top of you or a flick over the top, now there's nobody home to gather the possession on that nice shot from Oski. So it is a bit tricky. And it seems like here, being the first man, may be costly because as you can see teammates are pushing up into the area they're trying to follow the play a little bit more than they need to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try in this situation because of this i'm going to try and force oh my god whoa i'm going to try and force the second man uh option here good aerial we can take it nice oh good good challenge there i was trying to find where they were but straight away i'm just going to go back around grab pads I'm going to try and play this defensive here. Until I can figure out what's going on. Nice high shot. If that was on, that would have been a goal, I reckon. It's going to put that into an awkward spot. There we go. Teammate will take that. You see how I turn wide there? I start turning towards the right. And that's because I know that with the momentum, if they get a hit on that, they're going to take it to that side. So I want to be there ready to cause it a problem. Nice try from the teammate. So we're getting challenged much faster. We're going to go low 50. Oh, so there we go. So that's smart. They waited for my touch because with the 50. So I'm just going to start drawing some 50s here. This is good. We got them under pressure, I think. If we carry on like this. Ah, that's unfortunate. We just lost our pressure. I was going to say, if you can carry on like that, um, you can usually score because that's what it's all about. It's about prolonged pressure. Here we go. I'm not, I'm not having a repeat of, uh, of the last uh, episode. I'm going to take the goal here. But they always try. Open net. There's always a tryer. But uh, that's one thing I notice a lot in these ranks. Is the teammates will, they will try and steal open nets. And if they actually hit it, they've lost the free goal. It's, it's tough. It is tough. <laughs> I'm trying to dribble around the world here. My teammate's back. I want to be back. I want to be the last man here. Because at least then I can I can sort of trust myself. If you know what I mean. Little bit of a fake. Oh, hook shot. Oh, good defended. We had a nice lift. That would have been a nice one. We had a nice bit of lift on that. I'm just going to flip across this X here. I might grab this boost. 
Just because if after their play now, they're going to want that boost. So they're diving in the corners. This is opening for the teammate. Oh, and they finish it. Nicely done. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. Much better job of the teammate. I'm having to be the first man more than I want to be because I'd like to be backing up. But I'm forcing them to make a play. And if they get it past me, big deal. I'm there in the pressure so that they dive and they overcommit more than they want. So that it leads to those options for my teammate to finish. And they did a great job there. So there again, you know, I'm putting that pressure on. They've outplayed themselves. I'm going to put the chip on. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think we're allowed it. It's not, it's not an insane mechanic, right? <laughs> uh, you got to do it. You got to do it. And it already the madness is coming in. <laughs> right, let's go for this ball. But yeah, that is your job as the first man. You know, you don't have to do anything special. Your, your goal is to just... Wow! Let's do it. Your goal is to just get the outplay. That's all you want. So right now, teammate... So it is a little tip for you. So the teammates come back to net, but they need to go. So they're a defensive player. They're very defensive. But what you want to do... Anytime the opponents are sort of back in their half and your teammate gets killed... If they don't have a bouncing ball or the sort of momentum for a, a full, uh, full map power shot, what you... Oh, that's risky. What you need to do is go. You have to go. Tap that one in there. Nicely done. Great stuff from the teammate. Forcing the outplay. But they definitely are playing defensive. I think this could be a strategy. <laughs> I think this could be a strategy from the teammate actually to play defensive. But when you play too defensive like that, it actually becomes really difficult to deal with. Because there's no sort of rotation going on. Oh, I missed the ball. Alright, no problem. We've got a good lead here, 4-1. Good patience from the teammate here. Nice challenge. So you see how the teammate... Force that player to play the ball away. And now I can pick it up. And that's basically your two Z's in a nutshell. Oh my god. I've lost control of my car. I'm going. <laughs> Put the ball in the center in an awkward spot. I head out. My teammate goes. So now I'm backing him up. And then I'll come steal these boosts. Just to keep the pressure. I'm just going to shadow. There we go. And you can shadow as the first man. There's no harm in that. You could do that. Like for example I knew... Due to the tendencies of my teammate, they were going to be back in the net. And I knew I was real close to the ball. So I can shadow there because they're going to do a big rotation. Yeah, they're, they're not they're not doing the switch over. They're, they're definitely playing safe. And that's fine. I don't blame them. From some of the stuff we've seen, I'd, I'd be playing pretty safe too. But as you go up in the ranks, you're going to need that rotation happen. I try to bump the opponent off the ball there. Oh. My bad. <laughs> my touches today are not the best. <laughs> but unfortunate that I should have been able to just dribble that across. I actually thought that was clear. Maybe I was closer than I thought. But it's no problem. Nine seconds left and we, we got the dub here. I'm pretty confident to say. I'm just going to bump him. Just going to tilt him a little bit more. Just keep tilting him. There we go. GG. <laughs> I actually had real good sportsmanship at the end. But it's always good to tilt people like that. Because if you were to match up with them again, for example, if you're in a team, also if you're in a pre-made, if you're in a pre-made and you beat some players and they're getting annoyed by your bumps, when you've got the win, I just say to your teammate, hold the possession, buddy. I'm going to go demo him. And I'd just be bumping and demo him to a ridiculous degree that people would go, all right, that's toxic. And I do that because if you can't handle the fire, get out the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you under pressure. I'm going to make you feel it. You're either going to wilt or you're going to be fine. And if we get you again, you're already tilted. You're already going to be making mistakes out of frustration. And you might take yourself out of the play. So you can always use that as a strategy. But yeah, so today was interesting. That last game a little bit easier. But I really do hope that this has helped again. Um, we're into Platinum now. Platinum 1 Div 2. So hopefully next episode we can get to Platinum 2. And by then we will have a system in place. So do vote below if you want to see the green belt or the blue belt. So that we can use that and get some uh, some systems in using. And hopefully get some easier games then. Because we'll be able to either 
flick or shoot the ball and it'll just open up the game for us. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Really do appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Recently we got we got a thousand subs. I, I don't believe it. Unreal. We, we got a thousand subs. So thank you everyone who is subscribed and uh, is supporting the channel. I do appreciate it. Look after yourselves. Have a nice life.